Hey everybody, so in the last video we ended it with uh, we were trying to make an instance and uh, I was getting some errors so that leads you down the path uh, that you need to start troubleshooting well 1604 and the 2.0 Juju Maz uh, the landscape install the, these versions they are a little different than what we're used to in 1404 so a lot of the troubleshooting steps uh, that I've tried have not worked. So I want to show in this video how we get into the different GUIs and start do, doing some troubleshooting uh, to try to figure out what that error in the, the dashboard, the OpenStack dashboard is actually talking about. So first things first, we had this concept uh, in the landscape install of OpenStack of the internal and external GUI for Juju. Uh, that I mean th that's just my concept of trying to explain how this stuff works so after the landscape install if you just do on your Maz server if you do a juju status that's going to show you uh, all the machines that were installed when you did the conjure up okay so these are uh, these are LXD containers uh, on the two machines that were spun up during configuration uh, we still have the same jump off point to get into the internal cloud which is that landscape server but you have to do a few extra things to be able to uh, get to the right controller and get things to work like we expect them to so the first thing I would recommend is investigate the Juju GUI for this Juju that was spun up which we call the external so that's just how I refer to it so they have made that somewhat easier. Just do from here, if Juju status worked from your Maz server, do Juju GUI. It will either install or give you the specs, the, the credentials to log in and the URL to log into uh, this Juju GUI. So let's just pop it open real quick just so I can show you that it does in fact work. And grab that big, big password. Okay, so it shows you that small environment that was installed with Conjure Up. Well, that's, you know, that's great, but that doesn't really give us anything uh, to troubleshoot with. We have to get into the internal portion, and that's a little trickier now. Uh, I'm going to pop open the website. I have updated this with all the commands. There is an internal external page. So, Juju status, Juju GUI, that's for the, the external stuff. Uh, one important thing to note is Juju Home. Uh, we we were using Juju Home setting that export before. You can see the the stuff at the top of this page uh, is now Juju Data. So that was a a learning curve. So all this command really does is it it SSHs into the landscape server, uh, the the jump off point. This one right here. Uh, it it creates it sets the Juju data variable to the location where Juju was installed. So Juju home. Now if you've done multiple installs, this command, it lists everything in that directory right here. Uh, and then it it tails and grab, it goes back one line. So like in my case, my install has five different um, installs where I've retried and retried and retried. And we're on number five right now. This will go back, log in as root, uh, on the last install uh, that you've done. This just, it, it's kind of a safeguard all in one command to get you where you need to go. So go ahead and run that command and it's going to get you in to where you need to be to do this stuff. Now mine will probably work because I've been working on this. So juju status and it gives you all the statuses. But it didn't work first time because we were on the wrong controller. So what you need to do, so, so it installs two controllers and if you do, but anyway, if you do juju switch, that's going to give you the, the controller that you're currently on and you want, that's, this controller's name is controller. Uh, you want to be on controller. By default it puts you in the default controller. So if you were to switch controller,
it's no change because you're already on that controller. It it automatically when it dumps you into this uh, GUI, it's going to put you on the default one. So the first time you run this command and you get into landscape, do uh, Juju switch controller and it'll get you to the right one. You should be on the one name controller. <clears throat> Juju status to look at everything and then Juju deploy to uh, look at or to install the Juju GUI on the main zero machine. So just like normal, uh, you can get the status of the GUI if you'd like. I've already installed it on this internal one to save some time. So we're good there. You can uh, grab the IP or the machine for the Juju GUI uh, up here in this information. So that's helpful. But they also offer you this command, which shows you the credentials for this controller for Juju GUI. It's very helpful. And there's your admin, and there's your password. It'll be at the very bottom. It's on point or it's 1.8 on this configuration so we could just take this should be able to go to 1.8 and here's the internal GUI this here they will give you that command to grab your credentials uh, on the the GUI page you can just go directly to port 443 just punch the address in that you found up here or in the status status would be it's going to show you right there if you do Juju GUI status. And then grab your password. And here's where the real meat of the project is. So, this took me a while to actually figure out how to get all this done. So, hopefully, this is helpful. Uh, what we're going to do next is get into the cloud controller and start altering. Uh, the nova.conf file and figure out exactly what happened and why those instances aren't coming up like they should. I have a suspicion that it's a timeout value co copying the image over to the sender volume that we need to just increase the timeout and we should be able to to uh, create instances without a problem. But this is a quick video just to get you stood up on Juju GUI to be able to let you get in there, start hacking on stuff and, and getting things configured how we need it to go. Uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, the next video will be coming out very shortly. Thanks.